Welcome back to a new video here in Suavi. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a little project that I've been working on with. Actually, it was just one of the subscribers that he emailed me and asked me, do you know if there's a way of doing these or if there's something done already? And I was like, I'm not sure. And at first, I couldn't really understand what he meant. And then I was able to sort of grasp onto the concept of what he wanted. And then we tried to create it because as he said, there was not like a native way of actually doing so, right? So yeah, so we've been sort of thinking through and try to play around with these concepts and idea. It's a rule of thirds uh, grid sort of thing. And in the future, I want to add more shapes like uh, like these ones. He sent me this picture uh, so that I could use as a reference also to see what kind of things are used. Uh, we can see here on screen, there's different shapes. And then you basically align your video basing on how these the subject of your video is for example in this spiral the main subject will be sort of like the composition will be made so that it follows these shape uh and stuff like that the whole concept is really simple i actually just made it into a macro and effect and right now it's really a rough draft so it's not going to be complete or anything it's just going to have these uh rule of thirds so you can just quickly apply now there is one thing though if you turn this off your whole thing will go black for some reason i'm still going to try to figure that out in the future but what i did to avoid that is that after you have aligned your clip you can use these indicators here this uh, to move and adjust your clip or if you want you can actually uh, use your actual video here and change the position and then after you're ready you can change or erase the effect and you will still have your ending position but in this case what i did uh, if you don't want to do that is we just go to effects and after you make any changes for example like if we move it here now it's obviously not looking nice or anything here but it's just as an example and then after your position and everything is in place you will just decrease the blend and that should make the actual lines disappear as you can see here now we don't see the lines and then you can just increase the blending mode if you want to adjust something else and things like that. You can also add keyframes to the positioning, but you also want to make sure to st stabilize your footage if you're going to use these. But of course, the use of it will really depend on the kind of footage that you have. So you will have to pay attention to that. If you think this is going to be useful for you, make sure to check the link down in the description to download it. Also, let me know down in the comments if there's any ideas that you have of what we should add to these. And of course, it's completely free. I'm I thought about making it some sort of like a paid thing in the future, but it's really raw and a super draft right now. So there's no way to actually charge for anything like this. Now, this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.